this is lesson 12 of the first beginner level of the Piano Skills Foundation series, which means it's the last one. I'm, I'm putting 12 lessons into each level. So once you've completed lesson 12, you have finished the first beginner level and you're ready to move on to the second beginner level. Anyway, uh, in this one, I hope you have fun. I'm going to show you the bass clef flashcards. Hopefully you'll, you've gotten to know your notes a little bit and that will be fun for you. And then we'll have a new exercise, a new tune, some new reading exercises. Everything is new in this one. I hope you enjoy it. All right. So the first thing on your Lesson 12 practice guide are the notes on the staff and on the piano. Now in Lesson 11, I had to do flashcards for the treble clef. So today I'm going to go through the same routine on the bass clef. We'll see if you can beat me to the notes, and if you can, you're in pretty good shape. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just keep working on your practice sheets. You'll get to know these notes. Okay, so we're going to start with the bottom line group. The bottom line of bass clef is G. The space above that. A. The space below it. F. And the next line up. B. There's that group. Now the top line of bass clef, top line, A, the space below it, G, space above it, B, the next line down, F. Now I'm going to mix those two groups. We'll see if you can handle this. This is like when we mixed the clef, or we mixed groups in the clef, top line, a, I won't say them anymore, G, I mean, I won't talk about them, <laughs> I'm still going to name them, G, A, B, F, F, B, and those are those two groups. The next group I like to do is... The first little line below bass clef, which is this E. The second line is C. Below the first line, D. And below the second line, B. The next group I like to do is the first little line above bass clef. The C, we call it middle C. The second line is E. Above that first line, D, and above the second line, F. I'm going to mix those two groups together so you can get a feel for those. The first little line, C, C, B, B, C, I mean. And the last group, based on the anchor note, three spaces down, and that is this C right here. The next space up, E. The line between those two spaces, D. Now I'm going to mix all my cards together, and I'll run through them, and I'm going to try to give you enough time to play them if you're um, pretty proficient at them. I'm not going to give you a ton of time, so this would be... Um, for somebody who really knows their notes well, this is for you to sort of gauge where you're at. If you can't do them this fast, don't worry about it. Just keep on plugging away. You will get faster when you can come back to this video. Okay, so here we go. A. C.
I think that's where we started. <laughs> I forgot to take note of where we started, but I think that was it. Anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully you're working on your mixed clef sheets and that will help you get good at those notes. You're just trying to get familiar with them both on the staff and on the keys. Good luck with that. So this week I have a new exercise for you. It's called the interval fun exercise. I've written it out for you, but you can just learn it as usual by watching me play it. It's just a pattern that you keep moving up the keys. It's called interval fun. Here I'm going to combine some of your intervals with a stepping and skipping exercise like this. I'll show you with just the right hand first. We're going to go from here up a second, and you can even say these words, up a third, back to C, up a fourth, back to C, up a fifth, and then we're going to walk up the scale like this. This is the stepping part, and then skip down. Okay, so it's a more complex pattern, but I don't think you'll have trouble with it, especially if you say my wonderful lyrics, which go like this. Up a second, up a third, up a fourth, up a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. Then you move it up. Okay, so I'm going to put the metronome on. That was the pattern. Now I'm going to show the pattern to you at a little faster speed so it doesn't take so long. Here we go. Up a second, up a third, up a fourth, up a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. Up a second, up a third, up a fourth, up a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. Up a second, up a third, up a fourth, up a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. Up a second. Stop singing because I figured you're getting tired of hearing it. You, of course, put it in reverse. You're going to go like this. Down a second, down a third, down a fourth, down a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. Down a second, down a third, down a fourth, down a fifth. Intervals are so much fun. It sound like it's finished. So that was your interval fun exercise. Follow that up with some arpeggios. The arpeggios on this one, I'm going to just today play. Last time I played them double speed at 80. Today I'm going to play them double speed at 104 just to get through them quicker. Um, double speed meaning I'm going to play two notes per beat. I do not expect anybody who's only on lesson 12 to be able to play them this fast. I just want to get through them so you can observe them. Um, even if you don't need to observe them, you can skip them. But just this is what they would sound like. You're going to play them this fast someday. with both hands. You can do hands separately first, as usual. And of 
course, I'm going to do some Twinkle Twinkle. I'm going to move the Twinkle Twinkle up, and I'm going to go a little faster today just to get through it. You kind of know how it goes. I'm going to show you what it sounds like up at 144. So like I told you last time, if you want to go faster than 120 because it's getting easy, then you can go for it. If it's not even easy at 96, don't do even that fast. Always go where it's easy for you. Eventually you'll get faster. towards the end. Did you hear that? So anyway, that's the uh, twinkle twinkle as a part of the exercises. I want to show you something real quick. One thing you could try, you probably have already discovered this, but you could give it a try, is you could cross your hands and try playing it like this. Or you could do it the other way where you play the melody down here like this. Oops. I have to think about it. Mental, little mental exercises like that are really good for your piano skills. So that's just an idea I throw at you to give a try if you're still watching the video. Anyway, good luck with the exercises. Okay, so your tune for lesson 12 is Down in the Valley, which is a new one this week. So I'm going to go ahead and play through it slowly this time. I'm going to be playing the key of C and then the key of F and the key of G. First thing you want to do is the key of C, learn it good there, and then we'll move on to the key of F. You do it at your own pace. I'm going to do it nice and slow, like about 80. I'm going to be doing it hands together just for the whole thing. You can kind of break it down by starting and stopping the video. You should be learning the right hand, so pay attention to my right hand fingerings, and then learn your left hand, pay attention to the left, and then put them together. But just to save video time, as usual, I'm going to play them hands together. Here it goes. Down in the valley, valley solo two, three. And you hold this note for quite a long time. One, two, three. Hang your head over. Yeah, watch those fingerings. One, two, three. for three more beats. Hear the wind blow, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hang your head over, one, two, three. Hear the wind blow, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up. So down to 80 with all those long held out notes, it seems pretty slow, but hopefully that helps you learn it. I'm going to go a bit faster just to get through these and save video time. So the key of F, I'm going to go all the way up to 120 so we don't have to hold those notes so long in time. Here it goes. So on the key of F, you'll have to be sharper with your eyes to catch what's happening here, hopefully. And maybe I shouldn't go that fast. Let's do 104.
to get the fingering right. So that was in the key of F. Now I'll put it in the key of G. We're going to start on D. Down in the valley. One, two, three. Valley solo. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And over. I hope you notice the F sharp. That's the end. So there's down in the valley for you. Next time we'll play it a little bit faster so it doesn't take so long. But hopefully you're going to have fun learning that with the right fingering and everything. Good luck. Now for uh, lesson 12, two reading exercises. We're going to do moving along and then moving further along. I'm going to go ahead and show you where to put your hands and everything. And then I'll, as usual, at this point, I think the best thing for me to do is just play through each line one at a time and then the whole thing. Give you an idea. You're going to do each line three times perfectly. I'm going to play it uh, right up to 120, so you're going to hear what it's going to sound like at a top speed. Hopefully you've gotten used to using these videos to check yourself. So here we go. The first line of moving along. One, two, three, four, one, two. Notice, wait, before I start, notice the thumbs are right together here, like side by side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. to the first note of the second line, which starts right here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, then the first note, one. Okay, that's the first note of the third line, which goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. First note of the fourth line, which goes like this. One, two, three, the whole song. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So that was your reading exercise, the first one, moving along. And uh, just to reiterate, keep your eyes on the music and count out loud whenever you're working on these exercises. That's what you're trying to learn how to do. And if you do that, you'll become a decent music reader over time as you keep on doing stuff like that. Now, I'm just going to go right into moving further along. Moving further along. Hands are in a slightly different position. Your right hand thumb is here, your left hand thumb is here, side by side still, but down one. So right hand starts. Let's do the same routine I just did. First line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. First note, one. Now the second line. One, two, three. This will assume, of course, that you've done each line three times perfectly. You could start at the bottom line if you wanted to, three perfect, three perfect, three perfect, and so forth, and then play the whole song. Of course, at the beginning of the week, you're going to be closer to 80 when you first start, which is this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, but
but right now I'm going to play it up at 120. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And that was moving further along. And that is the final reading exercise and the final thing listed on your lesson 12 practice guide. And just so you know, at this point you have completed, you will have completed the beginner level one, which means you're ready to move on to beginner level two, which um, if you are building your skills foundation using all these things, hopefully you'll find it progresses nicely right into that level. I hope you've had fun with this first beginner level, and I'm hoping you're looking forward to moving on. Good luck with that.